Hello students, welcome to services classes. Today we will be solving the part 1 of the TIFR maths paper of year 2017. Today we will be solving question number 10 from the same paper. So in question number 10, it has been said that there exists, there exists a non-negative continuous function f which goes from 0 to close interval 0 to 1 to the real number set r such that integration 0 to 1 f of n dx tends to 0 as n tends to infinity. This is the given condition and we have to check whether uh, the entire entirety of the statement is true or false. So let's begin. It has been given that f goes from 0 to 1 to the set r. Also it has been said that integration 0 to 1 f of n dx tends to 2 as n tends to infinity. Uh, now let us assume that um, um, let us uh, for notational purposes let f of n x is equal to f of n x. Now suppose mod of f is less than 1 therefore f of n x tends to 0 for all x therefore integration 0 to 1 f of n x tends to integration 0 to 1 f of x which is equal to 0 also if mod of f is less than 1 in some place then integration 0 to 1 f of n dx tends to infinity now let us um, use a, another term where we'll introduce the term um, epsilon which will be the let epsilon be the measure of set a of x where f is equal to 1 we will check for f less than 1 and f greater than 1. We will check for f equal to 1. Then we can write integration 0 to 1 f of n of x is equal to integration over the set a 1 into dx plus integration over the set a f of n x dx now this part is equal to epsilon and this part is equal to tends to 0 so upon adding this uh, epsilon and 0 this will tend to epsilon now if we put epsilon less than 1 we will find out that the statement that we have to check is false. Now we will be solving the question number 11. In question number 11 it has been said that there exists a subset A of N, a subset A of the natural number system N with exactly 5 elements. It is from the subset A, the set A has 5 elements such that the sum of any 3 elements of set A is a prime number. So, we have to check whether this statement is true or false. Uh, now, if we think um, if we think for some time about, um, about the type of set that A can be, we will find out that um, the elements of A can only be odd numbers. The elements 
of set A can only be odd numbers. Let the set A be A, B, C, D, E, where all of these are odd numbers. Now we have to also check that whether the sum of any three elements of A is a prime number. So in that case, three uh, three kinds of uh, elements cannot be incorporated in the summation structure. So there cannot be three types of elements. Which, oh, which will have the structural formation of um, one mod three or 0 modulo 3 or 2 modulo 3 these are the structural conditions so if we take pairwise um, if we take two elements in a pair and um, uh, one another element for the three elements and try to incorporate all the space different combinations of such summations uh, we can um, generate a table like structure for greater understanding where if a and b is equal to 1 modulo 3 and c and d have the structure 2 modulo 3 then c will only have 0 modulo 3 this is one combination Another combination is where AB is equal AB has the configuration of 1 modulo 3, CD has 0 modulo 3, and C has 2 modulo 3. One more configuration can have and have AB as 0 modulo 3, CD as 2 modulo 3, and C as 1 modulo 3. Now, if we check whether such kind of um, configurations are possible, we check for each individual case, we will see that in this case it is not possible. And in the other case also it is not possible since the A, B are randomized over here. A, B are all randomized. randomized. So this case is also not possible and this case is also not possible. So the statement that we have to check is false. So today we have solved question numbers 10 and 11 from the TIFR question paper. We will be solving the next questions in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching Sorosa's videos and all the best.